not consenting to any of this. This is unconstitutional. We had confirmation that there is no concerns with any children in this house. What assessment has been carried out as to what warrants you? She wants to sedate my child and did 36 x-rays on her brain. That is going to damage my child for life. Carla Heard. My daughter went into the hospital with my grandson for just a normal cold. Initially, they, they um, su uh, subscribed him with um, a nasal spray. The saline nasal spray, yeah. After some time, she got a phone call to say that could she bring the baby back in? And it was urgent, and he was at the risk of having a cardiac arrest, but let, they, they made her sit in a waiting room the whole night, and she wasn't seen officially by a consultant until the following day. She has no bruises. No bruises whatsoever. On her legs or any part of her body. She was checked by St. George's Hospital yesterday in A&E. And she's very healthy and perfectly fine. <laughs> I suffer from eczema. She also has eczema. I just want that to be seen. She has eczema. Now make sure I note it on our record that you weren't aware of the court today. So that, that will be written down on our record for you. Okay. Okay. Where is your, where is your papers sealed? So, so, you're, so you're here asking us to hand over a child with no paperwork? I provided my son to go to St. George's Hospital. We have not gone against any medical advice. I was not happy that my son was having eight tubes of blood taken from him in Milton Keynes Hospital when I asked for the blood results. They said I did. they don't need to give it to me. It's called draconian measures. This was for a child that was safely sleeping. This is what they've done. The door can't even close. She didn't even have a jacket on when they removed her from here, but they have a duty of care. Share the video. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried to fight for my sister because what's happening is an injustice.